Well, howdy diddly dandy there, chums, tis I, Captain of Steve's, and today, chums, for you guys, in the view of verse, I'm going to be talking a little bit about light no fire, while having myself a lovely cup of tea. Well, anyway, people, as you know, light no fire is a massive open world that we're all going to be sharing, running around on, in multiplayer, but when you look at how many people currently play No Man's Sky and are currently online, we're talking about thousands, not millions. Now, on a massive open world, it could feel quite lonely. You might not come across another player for a long time. I mean, say there's 22,000 people online on a planet the size of Earth. Could you imagine Earth with only 22,000 people on it? Spread randomly across it. The chances of seeing somebody would be quite slim. And I think this could be a major downfall of Light No Fire in that it could just feel extremely lonely at times unless you've got some friends to play with. But then I remembered something that I saw Hello Games doing with um, Google Deep Mind. Let me just uh, let me just show you what I'm on about, people. So let's just stop that just in case something else plays. But here we go. This is what I saw. This was some time ago. This was fairly you know, March 13th. I'm not 100 sure even what year this was, but this was some time ago anyway. This has been so cool to be part of AI agents from DeepMind learning to play No Man's Sky. When the robots apocalypse comes, we'll simply continue making updates for the robots. So here we go, let's just click into this for a second. Introducing Simmer, the first generalist AI agent to follow natural language, instructions in a broad range of 3D virtual environments and video games. It can complete tasks similar to a human and outperform an agent trained in just one setting. Okay, so this is DeepMind and this is DeepMind actually learning how to play a game. And you can see here, it is playing the game almost like how a human would play the game. I mean, that was No Man's Sky in the background and various other games being played right now. But DeepMind has learned how to play these games. Now, I'm wondering whether this means that in future No Man's Sky, we might see NPCs flying around. But I'm wondering whether this is going to be one of the main draws to Light No Fire. Now, if they could make NPC players appear all over the world, it's not going to feel empty, it's not going to feel lonely, because they could potentially put in a, a vast number of these AI agents. I don't know how taxing AI agents are, or whether it's even going to utilise maybe the Hello Game servers, or whether there's going to be some sort of bridge to perhaps this Google AI cloud service. Who knows? Well, I'll click on this and let's have a quick look to see where this takes us anyway. I imagine it's going to take us over to DeepMind. Yes, there's a whole article on DeepMind right here. Let's make myself a little bit smaller on the screen. Let's have a look, see if there's anything that we can read into this to give us a sense of what's going on. So this was back in March of 2024 and it was part of the Simmer team sort of update. We present new research on a scalable, instructable, multi-world agent Simmer that can follow natural language instructions to carry out a variety of tasks of video game settings. Video games are key to providing ground for artificial intelligence systems, like the real world games, are rich learning environments with responsive real-time settings and ever-changing goals. From early works with Atari games through to our Alpha Star systems that play StarCraft II, a human grandmaster level, Google DeepMind has a long history in AI and games. Today we're announcing a new milestone, shifting our focus from individual games towards general, instructable game-playing AI agents. In a new technical report, we induced Simmer for short, scalable, instructable multi-world agents, a generalist AI agent for 3D virtual settings. We partnered with game developers to train Simmer on a variety of video games. So we partnered with. Now, you can read into that as you like, but the fact that they've partnered with Hello Games and No Man's Sky, for me, makes me think, well, maybe they use No Man's Sky as some sort of test bed. Now, I don't think Hello Games is going to want to push out Simmer into No Man's Sky when No Man's Sky has been a game that's been there for nine years straight away. I think what they'll probably do is use this as some sort of launch. Oh my God, look what this game can do. We've got NPC agents run by AI inside of Light No Fire. That's going to be a big selling point to get this across the line and to make it stand out against the crowd. 
then I think it might come to No Man's Sky maybe six months to a year after it's been tried and tested inside of Light No Fire and bring technology back from the future. This research marks the first time an agent has demonstrated it can understand a broad range of gaming worlds and follow natural language instructions to carry out tasks within them as a human might. That's freaking scary, but at the same time super exciting. This work isn't about achieving high game scores. Learning to play or even one video game is a technical feat for an AI system, but learning to follow instructions in a variety of game settings could unlock more helpful AI agents for any environment. Our research shows how we can translate the capabilities of advanced AI models into useful real-world actions through language interface. We hope that Simmer and other agents research can use video games as sandboxes to better understand how AI systems may become more helpful. I can see how this could make games feel less empty. To expose Simmer to many environments, we built a number of partnerships with game developers for our research. We collaborated with eight game studios to train and test Simmer on nine different video games, such as No Man's Sky by Hello Games and Teardown by Tuxedo Labs. Each game in Simmer's portfolio opens up a new interactive world, including a range of skills to learn from simple navigation and menu use to mining resources, flying spaceships, crafting a helmet. I'm just pretty darn tantalised, and it has to be said. This sounds freaking awesome. We've also used four research environments, including new environments we built with Unity, called the Construction Lab, where agents need to build sculptures from building blocks, which test their object manipulation and intuitive understanding of the physical world. AI is freaking phenomenal, isn't it, really? If you look back at where it's come from to where it is now, it's, it's insane. By learning from different gaming model or well, gaming worlds, Simmer captures how language ties in with gameplay behaviour. Our first approach was record pairs of human players across the game in our portfolio, with one player watching and instructing the other. We also had players play freely, then rewatch what they did and recorded instructions that would have led to their game actions. Very interesting. So it was actually chain trained on human activity. It is interesting that they mention the whole of, you know, Hello Games further up and No Man's Sky. But then it just goes into the technical sort of workings behind AI, which I, I think we're all OK with, to be fair. I don't ever see, I don't see any other mentions of Hello Games or No Man's Sky with inside of this article. But at the same time, I honestly do think we might be seeing NPCs controlled by AI coming to light no fire. And maybe that's being part and parcel of one of the main pushes for playing of a no um, light no fire it could be one of the major selling points is what i'm thinking because otherwise like i'm pointing out this is a giant world this is a world the size of earth and if there aren't too many players online at the time of playing it could feel like i say fairly barren fairly empty so to have NPC players out there playing as if they were humans would definitely make this feel far more alive. It does push the boundaries for other games. And considering that they've only partnered with a small handful, or just over a small handful, of different games developers, it really does give a leg up to Hello Games in the world of NPCs driven by AI. And I think it could be a new envelope of how games designers and games developers come to market with new titles in future. If I'm right on this, this is an extremely exciting period of time. And it could be that, I mean, with pathing issues with NPCs, there could be a massive task and undertaking here. It might not be at launch, but I think this is definitely on the future cards for something like Light No Fire with a world as big as it is. What do you guys think? Sound up in the comments. Do you think this could be a massive feature for Light No Fire? Are you excited to see NPC AI? Or do you think it doesn't really matter? Sound up in the comments. Let me know. I'd like to hear your thoughts and feelings on this one because it's, it is very controversial, but at the same time, very exciting in my opinion. Salute to Mondo. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.